Well, how's it going today folks? Today we've got the RCBS Charge Master Lite. I've had it for just a little while. I've only ever loaded 50 rounds of uh, 6.5 Creedmoor with it. Uh, I did test the rounds out and I was pretty impressed with the lack of spread on the velocities. Um, it seemed to perform really well and I compared it against my uncle's Dillon Precision Digital Scale as well. So. Uh, we'll be showing you guys that footage a little bit later. I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed with the results But anyway, just going to give you a quick little demo on how this thing runs uh, First thing I do is I just turn it on Let it run for about half hour or so you want to let them warm up and I mean that goes for pretty much any digital scale Let them warm up um, but I'm just going to go ahead and check it with 50 gram weight 771.6 grains is what it weighs, so that's good. I'm just going to check it with the other one, just in case. Um, if you do want to calibrate this, I'll just go ahead and show you. Just hit Cal. It's going to ask for zero. Hit Cal again. Put on a 50. Hit Cal again. Put on the other 50. Hit Cal. 100 grams. Okay, it dropped down to 50. And it goes right back to grains as soon as you pull the other one off. So we'll throw the pan on, which the pan is, yeah, 79.9, 79.8. It kind of hovers between the two sometimes. Go ahead and zero that out. And all you got to do to drop a charge is just type it in 42 grains. Hit go. And I'll go ahead and run a few of these and I'll probably just fast forward through the footage. I'll do 10 just to give you guys an idea. I almost got to 42 a little too quick, if you ask me. Let's just reconfirm it. Yeah, right on the money. Sometimes when it does it real quick, you got to really pay attention to it. Usually it kind of trickles it in slow, but go ahead and put the pan down. Once it zeroes out, it'll start pouring again. Oh, never mind. It's on manual. I guess I have to put it into auto mode. I accidentally put it in manual. As you see, it'll start going real slow. There we go. I always check the pan weight. If it doesn't say 79.9 after I pull the pan off, I get a little bit worried. But, I mean, honestly, after running 50 rounds through it, I mean, it did all of them flawlessly. So, uh, let me go ahead and put this in auto. There we go. Hit go. Now it's in auto mode every time I set the pan back down and once it gets to zero, it'll just start pouring again. And there you go guys, number 10, come out beautifully. So, pretty happy with the scale so far. I mean, don't take this as the end all be all review of it. Like I said, I've got pretty limited experience, but with the 50 rounds I loaded, um, comparing the velocities against hand weighed powder charges on the Dillon scale, I'm impressed. Um, so, anyway, I'll show you how to clean this thing out, which really doesn't take a whole lot. 
but we'll just go ahead and do it. You're going to want to hit cancel, take it off of auto mode. We're just going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned right out. So we'll show you. All right, and I'll just show you how to clean this out. Um, really not too hard to do, but you're going to want to take your powder jug and get it right up to the spout because when it comes out, it comes out pretty quick. So you just give this a little turn. And it's pouring. Once it gets down to a certain point, you can take this part right here off. Kind of hard to do one-handed, but there we go. Comes with a little brush here, and you can just kind of swipe all that down in there. Now I keep the jug right here. I'm going to put the pan on. Just go ahead and tell it to run a 20 grain charge. And that'll just kind of clean out all the stuff in the inside of the spout there. But you want to keep this jug down because a few little stray pellets will come flying out of there. So yeah, that's about all we're going to get out of it. So there you go. There's the cleanup. It's a little bit in the pan. No problem. So pretty happy with this thing so far. Like I said, don't take this as like the end all be all uh, review. Like I said, limited experience, but uh, so far I was really happy with the velocities I was getting out of my 6.5 Creedmoor with it. They were very consistent. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll that footage out now for you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, and I'll just show you guys what we're working with here. Here's the 50 rounds I loaded with the uh, Charge Master light scale. Uh, brand new Peterson brass. They come right, Peterson's come right in these 50 round ammo boxes. I think you're gonna run about $40 for a box of 50. Really not bad. I mean, brand new brass is ready to rock and roll out of the box. Um, so that's what we're running here. Federal primer, uh, the 130 grain sear game changer bullet. Um, so anyway, right here's just same thing, just the older, old, older loads here. Uh, and these are the ones that I weighed out by hand on the Dillon precision scale. So we're going to shoot these, compare the groups, which I don't think is going to make much difference. And we're going to compare the velocities and just see if that, uh, RCBS is on par with the Dillon. All right, got a target down there at 100 yards. Just going to shoot some groups, read off the numbers. I've got the uh, hand-loaded powder charges with the Dillon scale. So just going to go ahead and shoot and see what happens here. Twenty-eight ninety-eight. Twenty eight eighty six duplicate. So that's really weird. We've got three shots that are at twenty eight eighty six and two shots that are twenty eight ninety eight right on the dot. So I don't know what to make of that. It's very consistent. Gotta say that. All right, guys, not the greatest group I've ever shot with this gun, but. That one there, I know I pulled. We've got one, two, three, four. Uh, right, right in at about an inch. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna blame that on myself. I was more concerned with getting the chronograph readings than I was, you know, really hunkering in and focusing on the accuracy. So let's go ahead and shoot the ones that I charged up with the Charge Master Light and see what they do. So up next, 
Loads with the uh, Charge Master Lite, 42 grain, same thing, just I use a different scale. $28.98. That's so weird. Alright, one more. So it's really looking like uh, the two different scales are pretty much in harmony with each other. We're not getting really any difference in the velocity, so that's a good thing. Twenty nine oh four. So that was the highest one we've got all day. All right, here's another group. Again, usually I expect a little bit better performance accuracy wise, but I mean, still not bad. I mean, you can't really complain too much when you're when you're saying your worst group is an inch. So not too bad there. I'm gonna work with it. I think I need to run boar snake through the barrel. Then we're gonna try a couple more groups and show them off. Well, so far, there's really no real difference between weighing the powder with the RCBS scale and the Dillon scale. So that's a good thing there. Uh, we've got some consistency. Um, I'm gonna roll out a video, or I'm gonna roll out some clips of the Charge Master Lite in action, just give you guys an idea how it runs. Um, I showed a clip up on Facebook and a lot of people were like, oh, that's slow, you need to, I can hand weigh better than that. Well, you know what, I don't want to have to hand, hand weigh anymore. I've done thousands and thousands of rounds that way, and uh, it's nice to have a dispensing scale that uh, I can rely on for one. So um, we'll keep you up to date on, on that. I mean, so far with these 50 rounds, perfectly happy with it. But uh, anyway, I just ran inside clean the barrel out just a boar snake we're gonna go ahead and shoot another group here and uh i guess we'll just see if a of uh we'll see what difference a clean barrel makes here on our velocities hopefully a little better accuracy because i wasn't expecting to shoot those large of groups so hopefully we uh tighten that up a little bit <laughs> Twenty-eight ninety-eight, another number that keeps popping up. That's funny. So let's see how many times twenty-eight ninety-eight came up. One, two, three, four, five. So five times ninety-two popped up. One, two, three, four. So it's kind of funny. I I don't know if that's my chronograph doing that or what, but. At the very least, we proved today that there really isn't any difference between the Dillon scale and the RCBS scale, so that's a good thing. Um, just cleaned the barrel, shot a five-shot group, so let's go check that out. All right, guys, so my last four shots looking a hell of a lot better. Uh, that was the first shot after I cleaned the barrel, so not really counting that. That also gave us our look. This also gave us our lowest velocity of the day. Like I said, clean barrel next four stacked right in there that's what this load does on a regular basis so pretty happy with that so anyway guys just want an excuse to get out shoot this gun some more before deer season i do plan on deer hunting with it uh yeah it's set up for long range but i've got a spot that i'm allowed to hunt that's going to be mostly wide open so i want to make sure this thing's good and dialed in get some good uh data i'm really surprised on um how tight the speeds were on everything i mean you're talking about a 12 foot per second extreme spread at least according to this pro chrono so really happy with that and really no difference between the rcbs scale dylan scale so that's a good thing um yeah so this thing's ready to rock and roll hope you guys liked the video 
Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, commenting. If you want to support us, of course, patreon.com slash chuckin. We really appreciate you guys' support on there. Keeps us motivated to keep doing these videos. So hopefully we'll have some more coming down the pipeline. I know we kind of had a little bit of a hiatus for a while. Um, like I said, you just, uh, life gets busy sometimes and you just got to do what you got to do. So anyway, have a good one, guys.